Hello everyone, it's indeed inspiring to see you back again and in this tutorial of Tableau, we are going to see what is single axis and dual axis. Let us basically start creating one simple analysis and we are all exploring the descriptive analytics only where basically we try to answer what has happened in the past. So for example, I want to see that region wise, how much sales has happened in the past. So I'm taking region and I'm taking sum of sales. You can see that I'm able to see the sum of sales over here and let me put this sum of sales into the label section also. So here you can see that I have sum of sales uh, which is for central I have the value for north and for south I have the values. And let me basically bring regions into the color section and I can basically distinctly see the regions. And here I have this legend and I'll click on this particular drop down and I'll just click on hide the card and I have the data over here. If you want to expand the chart, you can click here on standard and you can do click on fit entire view. So here you can see this is single axis. Okay, you have single axis and you are able to see everything into single axis. And now if I want to also do uh, an aggregation on sum, uh, on sales, not sum, but I want to know this average. So I can click here, I can go to measure, I can basically change it to average so you can see that I have average sales over here and I have sum of sales over here so average and sum of sales I'm able to see now understand what basically is happening over here so this is average sales yes uh, the problem is that I have put some sales into the labels so that's why I'm able to see like this so let me remove this uh, some sales from av okay or from that particular place and let me just uh, bring average sales into the labels and you can see that now I have average sales value on below axis and on the above axis I have the uh, sales what is that is sum of sales. Now understand that uh, I want these two basically data to be represented in the same axis so that the single axis can become dual axis. What you can do is here under average sales in the row section you can click on the drop down and you will see one option as dual axis. So click on this dual axis and you will be able to see that both of the values you will be able to see they are lying as similar on the same axis. Now here you may see that a bit of confusion is there so I can basically help you to remove the confusion by clicking on the average sales and I would like to choose the average sales as let's say squares and then I'll click on sum of sales and the mark section and I'll click here as the area chart. So now here you can see that I have changed the chart for sum of sales which shows us the sum of sales and the average sales is basically showing the values of average sales because I have, uh, I have changed the way that data point has to be displayed. So this is how the dual axis is basically created. Uh, instead of uh, only one axis, you can have representation of more than one basically uh, measure into the same axis. Now, if I want to go further, I can basically add sales more into the rows and you can see one more axis is being added. And what I will do here is, I will make a change over here and I can do make a change and make it as count. So this is showing us count of sales. Okay, so this is how you can keep on increasing and I can add up and uh, this was count. I can basically go for uh, min and max as well. So here, these are basically aggregate functions. So I can go on min and max. So this is how you can keep on expanding and always when you want to change, you can click on dual axis and the graph is going to change its uh, uh, axis and bring things into the same uh, you can see same basically graph two uh, two variables are being displayed and again here I will just make a change in min sales I will uh, make it a line chart so you can see that that has become a line chart so that uh, you are able to see you are able to make a distinction between the two values which are displayed in the same axis so this was all about dual access, how you can create it. So you can try it out and you can let us know how was your experience by using the dual access. And don't forget to like. And if you have not subscribed the channel, please do subscribe it and share the video with the needy ones. Thank you.